So there seems to be a big problem affecting all Fire Sticks, Fire TVs, Fire TV cubes, where you can't see the actual icons for these applications on your home screen. Now, this is not a new problem and it has happened a few times before, but you can see here when I go to my all applications, it doesn't actually recognize what these applications are and I just see these blank tiles. The only applications you can see are the ones that I've personally sideloaded. Now, I've seen lots of posts on the Amazon forums, on Reddit forums for Fi TV, where it does look like lots of people are currently experiencing this problem. Even restarting your device doesn't fix the issue, whereas in previous cases, that was one of the recommended fixes. So what can you do? So there's probably three things I will try on your device to see if you can get the icon back. And if you can't, how can I at least see what these applications are? Now let's deal with that one first, because I think for many people, they just want to find what these applications are so they can go ahead and use these applications. So probably the easiest way to confirm that is if you get your Fire Stick Fire TV remote control, as you can see here, where you have the forward button and you have the rewind button. If you just hold those down for about seven seconds, you will then see straight away what these hidden applications are. So let's do that now in real time. So here is forward, here is rewind. I'm going to hold them down for six seconds. So ready, steady, go. So both pressed. Five. There you go. You can see straight away, I'll get the prompt that I've now enabled the text banner. And what this basically does is it gives you a, a visual text based notification about exactly what is highlighted on the screen. So let's click on OK. And you can see now straight away, this application here is Hirogo TV. This one here is App Info Manager. This one is Explore File Manager. This one is the Developer Tools menu and so on and so forth. If I press the Home button, here we can see this is ITVX, for example. And this one here is BBC iPlayer. So that's probably the quickest thing you can do straight away on your device to find out exactly what these missing applications are. And if you want to turn that off, if you just hold down the play button. One, two, you can see that turns off very quickly. So that's the first thing you can try. The second one, I do recommend doing a true restart of your device. Now, a true restart is not just pressing the power button, but holding down the play and select buttons for about six seconds which then forces your device to do a true restart. So let me also demonstrate that. And let's see if that fixes my issue. So here is the play button and this is select. So I'm going to hold both down for about eight seconds. So ready, steady, go. So play and select being held down. Five, four, there you go. You get the message that your device is now powering off. Now, typically, as I mentioned before, this was the quickest and easiest way to bring these icons back. but when I tried this on my other device, which is also having the issue, unfortunately it didn't fix it, but let's see maybe second time lucky on this device. Let's see if that resolves the problem. And you can see guys, it's still not working. So, so definitely there's some backend issue where these applications can't connect back to Amazon and therefore can't confirm exactly what these applications are. Now, one quick way you can confirm if your device can actually access the Amazon servers is to bring up another hidden menu. And the way to do that is on your remote control, if you hold down the left on the D-pad with rewind for about five seconds, once that's done, we're going to press the context key once, which is one with the three lines. So here is rewind, here is left. So ready, steady, go. This one is always a bit fiddly and it may not work first time, but if we say three, two, one, let go, press context key. And we then see this hidden menu. I can now scroll down and we can see it says Amazon servers reachable. So Clearly there is some connectivity from my device back to Amazon. And there you have it guys. So initially that did say yes. Oh, you can see it's flipping now. So clearly there is definitely some backend connectivity issue where the Amazon servers are not properly reachable. And because of that, my application tiles are not loading. But really until Amazon do something on their side, I think we'll probably still keep seeing this issue. Maybe they need to restart something. Maybe servers are being overloaded, but the issue is definitely on their end. It's not an issue with your device. You probably just have to wait for a while. In the meantime, you can use a text banner if you want to, or alternatively, you can try doing the device restart by holding down the play and select buttons and see if that then forces your device to reestablish that connection. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Just a quick video today because lots of you were wondering if this was an issue on your device or something else. But as I've demonstrated today, definitely the issue is with Amazon. So I really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.